Hi all. In this video, let's learn about one of the coding challenge. So this is a part nine of the coding challenge playlist. So here we will be having an array of size n. In this, we need to divide or uh, we need to form two subarrays. One is the left side. Left side sum should be the equal to the right side sum. Then the middle element which divides these arrays is the pivot or equilibrium element. So that is what we need to return back. So let's explain this with an example. So for example, we have an array like this. So the left part means one, two, three. So if you sum this, you will be getting six as a output. So this is one part. So the left sum of the array is six. And now the right sum of the array is six. So left sum of the array should be equal to the right sum of the array. Then the middle number, equilibrium this number is known as a pivot number so we need to return back this number so this is about the coding challenge the question so let's uh, understand this and write this code for this we'll be taking two pointers one is a start pointer which is which will be tracing from this position so the first position of the array so the second pointer will take that is the end pointer that will come from the end position and we'll take the left sum and the right sum as a zero values and we'll add through these numbers. So the left sum and right sum. And if both the start and end positions come to one point, so they are pointing to the same location and the left sum and the right sum is equal, then we'll be getting this pivot element. So let's check that. So let's write some code for that. So function find pivot element. So I will be taking the array. So below is the first example we'll see. So here the output should be one, two, three. So this becomes six and we have on the right side, we have six. So four will be the element. Four would be the pivot element. So in the second example, two plus three is five plus four is nine. So the left side array is nine and the right side elements is nine. So nine, nine. So the middle element is zero. If we don't find any of the pivot element, then we need to return back minus one. So that, that would be if we get any minus one, that means there is no pivot or equilibrium element in that array. So let's see that with an example. So as we discussed, let's take, uh, first let's take the array length. So we need to play with the array length. So array dot length. So we'll take an array in a new variable. And now, as we discussed, we will be taking two pointers. So one is start pointer, which, which points to the starting position of the array. So the second one is the end pointer. It means it should point to the end element of the array. So what we need to do, the array length minus one. Now this end pointer will point to the last element of the array. So also we have discussed that. Let's take two variables to calculate the sum of the left elements and uh, sum of the right elements. So we'll take, I'm taking two variables for that. So I'm keeping zero initially so that when it goes, when you're tracing through the loop, you can add each and every element to this left sum and right sum. So now we need to iterate through the loop. So for that, I'm using for loop for let i is equal to zero. We need to iterate through array length. So that's the reason we have a variable array length and I will add this increment. Okay, fine. So now we have a for loop. So now we need to iterate through the loop from the starting position to the ending position. Now let's write some of the our uh, conditions. So the first condition, what we have discussed is if the start is equal to the end, means both the starting point pointer and the ending pointer is at the same pointing to the same element in the array and also and the left sum is equal to the right sum. It means then we will be having that position as a equilibrium or the pivot element will be there. will be pointing to the pivot element because our condition is this one. This will be satisfy the our uh, challenge. So both the pointers should point one element and left sum and right sum should be the equal. In at that point, we can return the array of start. So array of short or array of end, anything. So that element would be the, our pivot element. We can return back that element. 
so this is the first case so uh, this is a, a primary case or our success criteria case so next let's discuss a few more scenarios if you are not able to if the start is equal to the end so then what it means we have reached throughout the array it means you have looped through all the elements in the array if the start is pointing to the end it means there is only one element or your pointing you have traced out through the array so the left start position is coming and the right position end position is coming so you are pointing to one position but left sum is not equal to the right sum in that case what it means you don't have any pivot element in the array so now what you are going to return minus 1 so you need to return minus 1 so this is a scenario it means you don't have any pivot element then the start position would be the end position right so you have traced all the elements so you are going to return minus 1 if the pivot element is not found you are going to return minus 1 so for that you are going to write this if statement so now let's see how to write the how to add the sums from left side or right side so if the right left sum is greater than right sum okay initially both will be the zero so if the left sum is greater than the right sum what we need to do it means the left sum uh, let's see here the left sum if it is greater than the right sum it means what we need to do we need to increment the end pointer to the next element so that the right sum can add this sum element and we can check whether the left sum is equal to the right sum so what happens here exactly so let's see so now the right sum will be adding right sum plus is equal to right sum plus array of end element will be adding end element because right sum is less than the left sum so now we are moving the end pointer a bit and we are adding that okay so now we have more element so that's the reason we are going to decrement the end it means we are moving the pointer from this position to the this position so that is what we need to do if the right sum is less than the left sum so in the similar case if the left sum is less so for example the right sum is greater than the left sum so what we need to do we need to do reverse it means the right sum is more here it means you need to add some element from the left side to the left sum so that you can again verify whether the left sum is equal to right sum so that's the reason now what you are going to do if to the left sum you will be adding left sum plus array of start because left sum is dependent upon the start start index start index will pointing to add the left sum and the index pointer will help to add the sum to the right sum so this is what you will be doing so once you add one number so now you need to decrement this pointer so that you will be pointing you this start position will move to this position next so in this way you need to do we, you need to increment the pointers start and the end by checking whether the left sum is greater if the left sum is greater then you need to move the end point end pointer to a bit and you need to add the current element to the right sum if the right sum is greater you need to add the current element to that left sum and you need to red uh, increment the pointer sorry here the start should be incremented so it should move forward the start element so that is what here so sometimes so there would be one scenario where the left sum is equal to the right sum okay M means the left sum is equal to right sum but start is not equal to the end it means pointers are not equal it means in middle there may be some more elements but the left sum is equal to the right sum in middle in middle there may be some more elements in that case we again we need to trace out we need to loop this once again so for that we we'll, we can write neither of the condition you can use this or use this you can use neither of these conditions but this condition is mandatory because you may start and end may be equal but left and left sum and right sum may be equal but start and end is not equal in that special case it means there are still few more elements in between the pivot so that's the reason we are still we need to trace out so for that reason you can neither do uh, in, uh, decrement add the right element to the right sum and decrement the right pointer or you can add the current start element to the left sum and uh, increment the start pointer neither of the things you can do i will add the right sum 
plus you can use a shorthand uh, operator so like this you can use so in the top also you can use the same thing so i need to club this okay now uh, i'm decrementing the end pointer so this would be the efficient solution to trace out the left and the right so you will be having all these pointers and sums and you loop through the array this is our uh, solution and uh, this is in case if you came to the same position the the pointers came equal but the left sum is not equal to right sum it means there is no pivot element if the right sum is greater than if the left sum is greater then we are going to add one more element to the right sum and decrement the end pointer if the right sum is greater then we need to add the starting current element of starting position to the left sum and increment the start position and this is a special scenario where the left sum is equal to the right sum and pointers are not equal in it means there are in between there are some more elements so let's check for this yep we got four as a solution it means the pivot element is four here you can check so i will comment this and i will uh, invoke the other function here so now you can see the pivot is zero here because the left part left array some subarray of the left part is two three four it is nine and four five is nine so that the pivot element we can return as zero one more thing uh, the array elements should be greater than zero should not be the negative numbers should be greater than zero so that's a condition of the coding challenge so we no need to bother about that so now let's see one more case that where we don't have any pivot so in that case you need you can keep any any number in order to fail this uh, you can check this okay now you have given a random number there where you don't have any pivot number in this case we are expecting a minus 1 which means there is no pivot element in the array so let's check that we we got minus 1 it means uh, whatever we wrote the logic it's worth working in the edge cases as well so uh, this is all about the coding challenge so um, thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos